Hey, orange one here. So we're continuing with the raiding that we were doing in the last episode. Um, we'll see if the Lord comes to stop us. I bet he does last time he did, so I'm anticipating he will again. Um, but if he does, we can run off like we did last time. That, that worked out pretty well. So I'm going to just keep on keeping on. And it looks like we may be able to pull off this raid. Yeah, I think we got it. That Lord, I think, gave up on trying to stop us. Yes, successfully raided the village. Um, you plundered one grape. Is that it? How... Is that seriously all I got there? Well, in any case, there, that village is all messed up. Mission accomplished. Uh, that They're going to wear Pen Kanak. No, you're not. You're going to give me your goods. Because <laughs> uh, we're the evil Asarian used to be merchant turned raider in the hills of Batania. It's proven to be rather profitable. Let's just say that. That castle's just going to watch us do this. Yeah. Honestly, this is how a lot of uh, um, warfare was done back in the day. This is not like super unrealistic what I'm doing. It's just Follow like your sergeants. Infantry. kind of morally Follow me. Follow me. repugnant, you know? <laughs> like, honestly, when people were going to war, they didn't attack the castle right away. This is what they were doing most of the time. Occasionally, going off and fighting each other on the Valiant battlefields or whatever. That they like to say in those stories. Well, the, I think we just got a little uh, graphical bug there with the horse armor. Oh, missed that shot. Yeah, we're... Uh, Honestly, could probably just auto these. I don't really need to be involved. I think that they're defeated at this point, right? Everyone, yeah, I think by that music we're good. Okay. None of them got away. <laughs> okay, well we should get some goods then, right? Oh, you guys, I had an idea. Um, you can actually make custom banners. I might put a link to the... Um, let's, let's see if I go here. This, for some reason, our banner got... The colors got all messed up. I'm not really sure why. Um, it doesn't look like... Uh, hold on. We can. It looks like we can't change the background color anymore. Oh, it's because I'm part of the Sari Nation. Is that what's going on? Yeah, that must be what's going on. Okay, um, we're hurting from that, actually. Got eight wounded. Maybe I should go up to... Oh, look. Look what we have here. It looks like they've had a little bit of trouble in these uh, these parts. Defending Abkomer. I think I'm faster than him. I can get around him. It looks like, yep, I can totally get around him. Dude's awesome. I'm going to go over here. This looks like a prime location for us to do some uh, raiding from. So the Northern Empire uh, took this place. Um, how do you feel about grain? You like it, don't you? Cool. I'll sell you all the grain I got and all the fish. Because that's a pretty amazing price for fish. Uh, the grapes. Tell you what, I'll sell you pretty much all of that as well. And the olives and the sheep. Yeah. Um, what about all this? All this is trash. And that's trash too. Okay. And what armor do you have? Oh, rough bear skin? Oh, that is super cool. Warlord pauldrons. Uh, I might get that if I can. If I could afford it, I would get it. Island scale armor. That I want. Like a whole lot. 
War Bracers. Oh yeah, this is okay. We're gonna we're gonna spend some cash here. Um, let's get those War Bracers. Uh, let's get that scale armor. And yeah, we can't afford that unfortunately. <laughs> That's super cool. Um, rough scale helmet that is quite a bit better head protection. Bare head. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna do it. It's a uh, definitely very strange outfit for an Asari, but I'm looking to uh, to make an impact on the. Uh, on the war effort. That's really all that this uh, comes down to. What's the most valuable sword that you have here? Um, actually, yeah, just better pierce is really what's going on. It handles much better. Swings a lot faster too. Yeah, I don't know. But we can't really afford to actually, so there's not even much point in umming and awing over it. Uh, what about... yeah. Oh, the Tanyan Mountain Blade? I mean, just the name by itself kind of make, makes me feel like I need to get it. Uh, can I... Equip one of those? Yeah, I kind of want that. I know it's gonna kind of break our bank a little bit, but... As you've been seeing, our bank is fine. Um, and anywhere that's been disrupted, Batanian, uh, from the other places, I kind of... Oh, actually, hold on. We need to go back here and recruit from the tavern. I don't think we did that. I mean, to go uh, about attacking more villages. Yes. Oh, you're Batanians. You might not like what I'm doing. But there's five of you, and you're pretty good troops. Uh, where was that group? There was like a group that was like around here. Um, oh wow, you've you're pretty busted up, but you're also bigger than me. Um, it's kind of all over the place. He's got eleven imperial recruits. Yeah, I don't know. The fact that he's got a bigger stack than me makes me nervous. How's my speed compared to yours? I think that we're okay. Uh, we just gotta make sure we're outrunning these guys because they kind of are coming for me. Um, yeah. Let's just pause for a second and get our bearings. I think I want to go down this way. We'll see. Oh, yeah. I'm going down this way. We'll see what villagers we can find. Um, yeah, see, they've taken Kuyas from us. I knew that that was going to happen. It kind of was um, pointless to even try and fight that, fight that, you know? I think we just need to... Why is that thing marked? Army of Poachers? Oh, <laughs> I forgot about that. Forgot we, we were trying to be a good person. Um, hold on, how big is their garrison? Defenders is thirty-eight. Yeah, we're we're doing it. Raid the village. I I did not look at their composition of troops again. Okay, it looks like spearmen. Oh man, really? It's gonna make me go through the bog again. Well, let's not go through the... Or, not again. But it's gonna make me go through this, like, boggy little marsh. We gotta be really careful here. We could get really messed up. Do we not have infantry? Infantry! Archers! Okay, we do. Troops! They're just being displayed as, uh, something else. Follow me! Yeah, I don't know why my cavalry is going all the way up there. That doesn't seem like a particularly smart place to put the cav. Let's get the cavalry on the high ground. Just kind of come over here. Oh, I don't know who that is. 
Mercenary scout. Yeah, that was dumb. Yeah, everyone get in here. If I can get my horsemen on these archers, we're gonna be just fine. Oh, oh, getting hit, getting hit. It's a good thing I got that heavy armor investment, right? There we go. I, I'm getting some, some hits with the cab. Okay, we definitely are gonna win this. Maybe I should get the arrow out. It'll just be a little bit quicker. I'm a I'm much better shot than I am at the melee weapons. That's my preferred weapon in my medieval time would be on a horse with an arrow. I wonder if I'd actually be any good at that in real life. It probably wouldn't be. Probably none of this transfers over. Yeah, I'm not keeping prisoners. I'm just taking their stuff. The whole point of what I'm doing here is not really the um, the prisoners and making money. It's more of the, uh, the economic impact of raiding. That's really what I'm looking at here. Are they running away from me? Are they like trying to get away from this village? Is that what's going on? Uh, sheep. Yeah, I don't know what was going on with the end of the raid there. I'll try and keep a better eye on it. Um, is this dude... He's going to try and come protect this village, isn't he? Yeah. That's what I thought. Okay, we need, to, we need to get out of here. How's my speed compared to his? Um, speed is 5. Speed is 5. That is not ideal. That is far from ideal. Can I run around this way and get back to that city that we were at? I think that we're going to be okay. If not, we'll just dump some of our not-as-good units. That should speed me up. But I am a little nervous here. Um, can I get... Uh, no, I cannot. Don't get closer to that dude. 6.4... Okay, I think... I think we might have recovered to the point where we're faster. Yeah, we can get away from this dude. Do I want to go back to that place and try and continue looting it? And we've... Spilled the blood already. We've made the investment in terms of lives lost. I think we'll continue raiding this place. Oh no, that it's being raided by someone else now. Help them. <laughs> what? You can raid together? I plundered one sheep. Um, can I continue raiding? Now that we've got the two of us here, I think we might be able to take on Nevermind. Um, I think we might want to leave. I'm gonna help, um, and we'll just kinda keep an eye on things. Don't go super fast though. If that guy stops and turns around, then... Yeah, it doesn't look like he is. He's too focused on his... his war. Or something. Cool. And there's a lot of villagers around here. I think that we're in the clear. Just trying to keep an eye on things. Um, hold on. What happened to the raid? There we go. Now they really don't like us here. Well... That's going to hurt with trade later on in the game, but we got to do it. This is, like I said, this is a necessary evil to uh, hurt the battalions in their war effort. To exhaust them. Yay! Oh, wow. Okay, so I got, I got a lot more there. That's good. How about experience? How are we doing? Anyone that's... Anyone else? No. Okay. Cool. Um... How are we doing injury-wise? We're pretty badly knocked up, aren't we? Yeah, if we look at our party. Got eight wounded. I mean, our inventory is pretty full. Oh, wow. Look, Sturgia. What? Sturgia took all of that? Okay. 
That is really interesting. I think that we can continue harassing the Batanians. Um, but I I think we might need to pull back a little bit just to heal up. We're we're hurting. We're at like half capacity, half strength. And the fact that they've lost. Oh wow, look, they just got crushed there. They must have tried to rally against them. They might be about to forfeit to us. We might want to go back down to Kuya's and see if we can get in on the siege or something. That's one of the opportunities that we got available to us that I think is going to be coming pretty soon. Oh look, some sheep that we can sell. Oh nice. And their wool. And the cheese. Yeah, we'll sell all that. Get a little cash. Um, yeah, let's make our way to Kuyas. I think that that they're probably not having an appetite for war after getting crushed by them there. Um, yeah, I'm not going to attack a caravan. We just don't have the numbers for it. Okay, but we will definitely look at these villages as we go by. Okay, they've actually been raided kind of throughout the whole area. Cool. Um... Well, I'm shocked that the Sturgeons took all that. I did not realize that they were um, steamrolling so much. Maybe we should be afraid of them. Okay, they only have 17 people here defending this place. You know what that means. Man, it's, this has got to be really bad for like my honor and everything. People are going to hate me. Kill them all! I'm going to just kind of get in here because I want some experience. Yeah, I know this is kind of dumb because they're going to start shooting at me, but like I said, I want experience. Okay, that was way off. Okay, maybe I'll, I'll get in there a little bit more. I'll stop being such a coward. Yeah, <laughs> totally. I heard somewhere that apparently there was going to be religion in, in uh, Banner Lord. What do you guys think? Do you think it's a good thing that they removed it, or do you think they should have kept it in? I personally always enjoyed the religion mechanics in the, um, like, Civ games and everything. You know, but I understand that they don't want to exclude people, and sometimes when that stuff gets put in games, people don't play it, you know. Unfortunately. Man, the game gets so loud in those those points. I don't know. I'm I'm still struggling with the sound management because most of the time it's not that loud. I might just put like a cap on the sound or something. Okay, yeah, they're all mad at me. I get it. I'm a meanie, big meanie. Okay, yeah, you guys can look at me all funny. As long as no lords come my way. Oh, I plundered a grain. So did I actually get that stuff? I think I actually am getting that stuff. Yeah, it looks like I'm getting it as it's being raided. Oh, that's cool. I like that. So you get stuff and you can leave as someone comes to stop you. Great. Well, I'm going to just raid the whole countryside then. But Tanya, you're going to feel my wrath. And I'm going to make a whole lot of cash. And you guys are then, after this war, going to buy all of our goods because your whole industry is wrecked. <laughs> I just attacked two places that produce grain. So your brewery industry as well as your uh, your grain industry is going to be ruined. <laughs> That's the real reason I've been getting into this, uh, um, this whole business thing. Or this whole going to war. It's just to make a little profit. Huh. Oh, there's Cow Dog's army. I don't know who that is. But, uh, hold on. How many people are defending here? 26 against 36. Yeah. I think we're going to do it. I think I'm going to first ask that for their supplies, and then we'll actually um, go about doing the full-on thing. Um, 
After Everyone me. follow me. We're gonna get behind this building. So the archers don't wail on us. Not right away, at least. And cavalry will wrap around. And... You guys can just go ahead and charge it. I've got to see if I can just distract the spearmen. Honestly, yeah, I had a feeling a couple of them would be around here. Yeah, just try and pull them away. Okay, just... Look over here. Look over here. Stop looking over there. Oh, they actually held their ground pretty well there. Better than the last few that we've uh, done that to. There we go. They tried. They sure did try. These Bistanians tried to keep out the invaders. Oh, did you see my little things just flap there? Look, my like little helmet chainmail thing flaps. I got like little dog ears. How cute. I know it's weird hearing someone say how cute after they've gone and raided villages, right? It's like the, the modern person in me versus the ancient. Uh, how much grain are we picking up here? Only three things of grain. Oh, well, well I was just the uh, saying, hey, give us stuff. Okay, they do have a lot of units here, but they're not stopping to attack me. No, no, they're going after the Empire. Oh, I only have 29 people. Maybe I should head back and get some more. I think it's time we go to Asari territory and see about joining up in, with an army or something. I think the um, Sultan's probably pretty happy with what we've been doing for the war effort. Just raiding the countryside. I just need units, to be honest. Um, I might go to, like, Yalmaris and attack some of that countryside up there. I don't know. Got a couple different options, and probably want to go back and get more units is what I want to do, really, because I can't raid if I haven't got anyone to raid with, right? Um, yeah, let's get out of here. Let's skedaddle. Get back to the sorry people and fighting with them. Uh, we'll just go straight here. Yeah, there's... Does that say 400-ish troops there? It's not that much. You know, honestly. On the, the scale of troops that you see in this game, that's not too bad. Um... No troops. Of course there's no troops. Why would there be troops that are available? I kind of want to attack this place. I know it's stupid though. The bad instinct. Because that is a place that's going to have Asari people. <gasps> Wait, what? It's. Oh, there was a battle there? I don't think I would have been there in time for it. Well, that's good. I'm glad I didn't raid. I should have gotten back for the battle. I knew that they were gonna... I even called it like earlier, you know? Saying that there was gonna be a battle after I, I uh, was up there doing the war effort. Well, I think that we've been successful then. I'm gonna say that that was uh, due to us. Maybe I'm taking too much credit, but... Uh, I don't know. Um, there's all this stuff. Auxiliary armor. That's actually pretty good. Is that what we had? Uh, I think that's our old armor. I don't want to get rid of that. I want to hold on to that. And that. Can I? If I do that, yeah, I'll keep it. Cool. Um, we can get rid of all that. That's fine. Look at all of our cash. Seriously, if the game would let me, then I would buy more uh, caravans and stuff, but we're just not quite at the renown level. I bet if we go off and do more raiding, we'll get even more renown and we'll be good. Um, 
anyone in here to recruit? Yes, you look like a thug. All right. I'll take it. Whatever troops I can get to join, join up with us. I think... Yeah. Oh, look. Mameluke guards. Straight off the get-go. Nice. That's pretty good. Why are we getting such good units? Is it because that we're like in a faction? Oh, it's been looted, right? Okay. Um, the question is, do I try and get more mercenaries? I mean, the high tier mercenaries I'm not really finding all that often. So I think we should just go about the uh, recruitment option. Uh, and we can only get three more people in our party. So let's, let's just get a few more Asarians from here and then we'll go back up into Botanian land and continue to harass. Yeah. I would like better troops. And we really should be able to get like better troops, but I, I don't know how to do it. Maybe there's a mechanic in here that I'm just unaware of. But that's that is the case probably. Um, yeah, got no prisoners. We could be making a ton of money if we're, we were taking prisoners, but I just don't think that that's really. Oh look, Sarik's army. What are you doing? Are you trying to take that castle? Are you sieging the castle? If you're sieging the castle, I want in on this. Yeah, now you got a three hundred strong ar army to take out this castle. I think that uh, we're going to be able to do this. If that's the case, I think we might end this a little bit early and start the next battle, or the next episode with the siege. Dudes, we're going to have a siege. You know how excited I am for that? I don't, I don't know if I'm conveying how excited I am. I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.